Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video for Friday the 29th of November. I'm James Spann. We stay dry today, but thunderstorms return tomorrow night. Some could be strong. There's the upper look this morning, a very deep, vigorous upper trough in the western states, producing some nasty wild weather there. But for us, we have a ridge in place, and we'll have quiet weather today. Starting off the day in the 40s, Birmingham at 49. High today should be in the low to mid 60s. Very seasonal for late November, but man, it's a mess in the West. Winter storm warnings in effect for about almost a dozen states. Blizzard warnings for parts of South Dakota, Nebraska, Wyoming. Flash flood issues for parts of the deserts of Arizona and Southern California. But the East is quiet, but that Western storm brings some active weather in here by tomorrow night. Now today, there's a marginal risk of severe storms over parts of North Texas and Oklahoma. Tomorrow, the standard slight risk over Louisiana and some of the adjacent states. SPC has a marginal risk of severe storms defined for parts of West Alabama. And this is kind of a low-end threat, much like the deal we had a couple of nights ago. We'll talk about the specifics here in just a second. And then on Sunday, day three, maybe some thunder for the Southeast United States, but no severe weather expected at that point. This is the precipitation over the next seven days. For Alabama, this is mainly with the event tomorrow night, about one inch for the Tennessee Valley, under one half inch for the southern half of the state. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06E run, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Big, big trough in the west, ridge in the east, high amplitude. Down below that, snow continues in so many areas out west. Alabama dry today. Mixture of clouds and sunshine. Highs between 62 and 65. Tomorrow, that deep surface low is over Nebraska. Near blizzard conditions likely north of that, north and west of there. Showers and thunderstorms in the warm sector to the south and east. But again, for us, the day should be dry. This is 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Again, we'll be pretty mild. We could be up around 70 tomorrow. And uh, mostly cloudy, maybe a few peaks of sun. And there could be a few showers over the Tennessee Valley, but most of the state dry. Iron Bowl, no rain. Uh, temperatures upper 60s to near 70 at kickoff. Some clouds, but again, no weather worries there. And notice thunderstorms off to the west. This is 8 o'clock Saturday night, tomorrow night. And you can see thunderstorms coming into northwest Alabama. And then that line of storms on the front off to the west. And once again, this is the limiting factor. Uh, the NAM here, the three-kilometer NAM, showing no surface-based instability over most of the state. And obviously, that's going to limit any severe weather threat. Now, the shear, yeah, uh, value's extremely high. But again, Cape, nothing. So that's the reason this is a low-end threat. This is 1 a.m. just after midnight tomorrow night. Weakening showers coming down into Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Gadsden. So we'll keep an eye on these things, and they could produce some gusty winds, but they should be elevated, and a little brief tornado, I guess, is possible somewhere, but certainly not likely. And then uh, Sunday morning at 6 o'clock, the weakening band of showers down in southeast Alabama. During the day Sunday, here in Alabama, we are cool and dry, the sky becoming partly sunny, and uh, we'll be in the 60s. It first looked like we might get that colder air in here, but that cold air is going to hold off until Monday. And if, if you're traveling, note uh, the northeast and uh, parts of the Great Lakes looks very icy and snowy. And this could greatly issue or, or hamper travel at airports in New York City and Boston. So just keep that in mind. Monday, we are much colder. Uh, highs in the upper 40s most likely, and there could be some snow flurries down in the Great Smoky Mountains, but the sky should be sunny. Tuesday, we start the day below freezing, probably in the 20s. The high will be in the 50s. Wednesday, sunny and cool, the high close to 60. Same thing on Thursday. And then Friday, a little uh, trough scooting by, a little short wave, and that might squeeze out a few showers, but probably not much. Uh, this is suggesting any showers mainly over the southern half of the state. So next week looks awfully quiet. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 8th, troughing over the Great Plains. That looks uh, like maybe some rain just north of here. 
Here's the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about two inches for the next 15 days. And temperatures very seasonal. Uh, close to average values all the way into mid-December. No sign of any big Arctic outbreaks here anytime soon. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. We are on a holiday schedule. Just one video today, but we'll have fresh notes uh, this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.